Hey, what's up guys? I'm Praetorian and welcome back to Hearts Farm 4's. We are playing with the Road to 56 mod as the Turkish Socialist Republic. Alright guys, so um, let's go ahead and get started. One of the things I asked you guys uh, in the last episode before we ended was who we should start influencing, um, you know, for, uh, you know, into communism. Because, frankly, uh, we're kind of losing that war uh, with the with the access right now and trying to get, you know, new countries into our faction. Uh, so one of the, the ones that it seemed a few people mentioned was Sweden. Um, one interesting thing about Sweden is they actually are already part of, of a faction. This is the Three Brothers faction. It has Denmark, Norway, Sweden, and Finland in it. And uh, this happened in my previous campaign with the United Kingdom playing this mod as well. And it actually broke apart. Uh, so I don't know if that's a possibility for it to break apart. It seems like it is. So I think it, it still is useful to increase them. Uh, besides, they are 40% towards communists, and uh, if it does break apart, yeah, maybe we'll see them, you know, perhaps be able to join our faction. I don't know. We're going to do it anyway, guys. Uh, we're going to boost uh, party popularity here. Now, I know that we shouldn't be spending all of our political power on this. However, if we are going to do one of the large nations um, that, that many people have mentioned, people want to see Japan or the United States, you have to start doing that early. We should have already started doing that um, because it takes so long. Uh, because, like, if you look at them, they're 98% Democratic, or over here uh, for Japan is 100% fascist. Uh, which, by the way, they are not in their own faction. Somebody is saying that they're in their own faction. They're not. They do have the possibility to create their own faction, but they are not at the moment. Um, but, yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and do the United States, guys. I think that would be the most beneficial one. Uh, this is one of the most powerful countries in the game. So, yeah, I mean, might as well try. At least maybe we can get a civil war out of this or something. Who knows? I don't know. We'll work on it, guys, because clearly nobody else is going to do it. And little old Turkey isn't going to be able to handle all these countries by themselves. So, yeah, let's see uh, Let's see what we can do on that front. So, let's go ahead and get started here, guys. Uh, one of the first things I want to do uh, is we need to create an air base here. Um, I realize I didn't have one. We have one over here, but it's, it's kind of, it's pretty far, guys. I don't think it's going to be able to cover much other than the initial front. So, get an air base there would be pretty smart. Uh, I know that this is almost done, so it doesn't really make sense to tick that down at the bottom. Um, but we kind of, let me see when it's done. 18th of May, okay, that's a couple days. All right, what we'll do, we'll let that finish, and then we'll start working on the airbase. Uh, just a large enough airbase to get some planes on there. Um, you know, probably like two air wings is all we're really even gonna have, so I don't think we need any more than that. So let's go ahead and get, we got 50% bonuses for all of these, encryption and decryption, so we'll be able to knock this out fairly fast, guys. Uh, that's that one reason why I wanted to get that, that national focus kind of early, uh, so that we could do this. As soon as, you know, we get into 1940, we can, we can grab up those three techs. We did get women in aviation, um, which gave us some air experience. I uh, gave air, uh, air base. Where was the air base? I wonder. Hmm. I don't know, we're gonna have to check that. I don't know where they built it. Uh, and then we're gonna go for the fighter model. So that's the whole reason why we went down this branch because I want to research that. Uh, I don't know where they built the the air base. Could be anywhere along here. Could have been that one right there. That's a possibility. Oh, you know what? Thinking of that air base. Um, one thing I realized is we know we're not building any any torpedo bombers. So we might want to do that. Uh, get some some uh, factories going towards torpedo bombers. Obviously. There's not really anything for us to pull from right now. We kind of need to keep them where they're at. Uh, but as we build military factories, which I'm assuming uh, that once we finish the uh, air base and the civilian factories, we'll start working on uh, getting the... Uh, is this not done yet? I thought it was at 18th of May. Huh. Oh, shit, I'm in March. I'm an idiot. I think I was thinking we are, we are in May. All right, well, we really need to get this going. And we're going to have to take that down the bottom, unfortunately. Damn, we are only building with two factories. We have, like, no civilian factories right now. Because we are trading them all away for resources. Oh, that's rough, guys. I feel like um, after we get the fighter models, uh, I don't know. There might be another model of plane we might want to get. But I feel like we really need to start working on those national focuses that give us uh, um, uh, that give us resources. Because we are trading away like all of our civilian factories at the moment. Uh, it's just, it's really bad. We just don't have any resources for all the uh, military factories we have. Um, that's like one of the things about getting too many military factories that you, and you can't support them with the resources um, that you have in your country. So that's kind of where we're at right now. I know that getting into Iran is going to really help us on that front. Um, how are we doing on as far as our training our units up? We're going to take a look at that. Uh, but first, let's go ahead and get decryption going. 49 days. Uh, so yeah, we need to take a look at our units and see how far away they are from, from finishing up here. Oh, it looks like it's going to be a little while. All right. So, yeah, we're going to have to wait wait for these. But, yeah, we really need – we're going to need more troops. Um, and, and so what we're going to be doing, guys, uh, and this will be this episode, is we're going to be declaring a war on Iran. Um, this is a fairly risky, uh, you know, event here that we're doing. God, fascism is getting so high. Uh, because we're, we're extremely worried that this is going to result in starting the larger conflict. 
uh, which could be really, really bad. Uh, do we want to continue getting these? I don't, I don't think so. Not at the moment, guys. I think we should start working on something else. Um, we're kind of, you know, we, we got all the infantry equipment we want to get. I think we're going to get that next, in fact. Yeah, I think we should go after the infantry equipment, guys. Um, we don't have, yeah, we don't have the fighter bonus yet. Um, I think that's what we're going to go for. We're going to go for infantry equipment. Yes, sir. All right, so let's go and grab the uh, infantry equipment, too. It's going to increase our soft attack. That would be helpful against Iran. Oh, yeah, but we're really hoping Lithuania just declared war on Estonia. Didn't they already have the conflict going over here? I thought it ended. I guess they decided to start it up again. Okay, <laughs> whatever. Um, and we're entering into May now. Okay, excellent. Uh, but yeah, the uh, war with Iran, I'm just hoping uh, they're claiming the Persian Gulf. Hmm, what's going to happen there? Uh, yeah, they might end up going to war with Saudi Arabia. That'd be interesting. I hope they do. Um, they have to go to war with Saudi Arabia. Although, they don't even have a border with them, so that'd be kind of silly. Uh, but yeah, if they went to war with Saudi Arabia, maybe it'd distract them. Maybe they'll do some naval invasions or something. All their troops would leave. I don't know. Um, where are all their, their divisions? The Soviets are just gonna be a push into here. Go ahead and take the capital. Maybe we should bring our troops up around here and then just send, like, one division over there just to come over here and push into the capital. If there's nobody there, and you know the Soviets aren't gonna do it. Uh, but yeah, it seems that they are mostly focusing on defending this border here. And it looks like Japan just declared war on Yunnan. Okay. Um, so yeah, they're trying to expand into the warlord territories. Yeah, they're trying to get all of this area into... Oh, oh, wait a minute. German Reich just declared war on Yugoslavia. Now, why is this a big event? Because the Yugoslavians are part of the Allies. Excellent. So this is what... Okay, so this, this is good. This is very good because this fixes my fears. My fear with declaring war on the Assyrian Empire, Iraq here, uh, was the fact that the Axis and Allies were not at war with each other. Um, so I, I was worried that, uh, well, I, I knew, I knew for a fact that, that Iraq would, with them being fascist and them being at war with too large, or well, Turkey's a little bit larger than them, but most importantly with a major power, the Soviets, that they would definitely join a faction. They would have joined the Axis. And if they joined the Axis, then what would have happened was uh, this Bulgarian uh, border that we have, yeah, uh, it would have been a wrap for us. Um, they would have pumped troops in here. Uh, somehow I know the the Germans and the Italians would have got over here. And they would have, uh, you know, dismantled our troops over here in this area. Uh, we would have had to worry about naval invasions. Just too much stuff. And we wouldn't have been able to advance in Iraq because we would have been too busy dealing with all this other stuff. And we would have been fighting all alone. We wouldn't have much help from the Soviets. Uh, so I was really, really worried about that. Well, now that's not going to be the case anymore. Uh, because the, the Axis is now going to be at war with all of the uh, allies. And so, yeah, it's just no longer a problem. Uh, so that's awesome very very helpful uh so now even if the iranians do join the axis then it's not that big of a deal now um that was just one thing i was kind of worried about so estonia and latvia have already made a white piece that's so weird i don't know what the hell's going on over there uh so what we're gonna go ahead and do is uh, god you know I, i'm really tempted to go for the light bomber focus however getting steel although we'd probably just use it on the military factory um but yeah getting steel would be incredibly useful for us at this moment uh, we need to get we need to get some resources for our own. I think we are going to go ahead and for the, go for the steel, guys. I think we need it. Um, and then the other thing we're going to get, we could move over here and get the small arms firepower. It does take 218 days to get that soft attack bonus, but it would be incredibly helpful. It would be for all of our units as well. Uh, so we also need anti-tanks. That's another thing we need. We need the artillery bonus. Um, and the artillery bonus is only 83 days away. Uh, so, hmm... Yeah, very tempting. I, I think we're going to do the artillery bonus, but I would like to get... Oh, no, no, no. What am I talking about? We need to get the fighters. That's why the whole reason why we got those. 46 days away. That's the reason why we researched that. Uh, so what we also need to do... Uh, we can keep this playing while I do it. Is we need to get these guys assigned... Oh, that's not going to work. We're going to have to give these guys a uh, garrison order. Garrison that, please. And Yunnan Free Empire has capitulated. All right, that was rather quickly, wasn't it? All right, let's go ahead and get these guys thrown into that army. And then we're going to throw all these guys into this army to train. Get over there, guys. Some of these ones are waiting for equipment, and they could be uh, training right now because, yeah, they're, they're, it's just, like, a few things. Yeah, might as well deploy them. Uh, let's deploy. Do we want to build any more uh, units? We have eight tanks coming. Um, I would like to have ten. So let's let's go ahead and add, add ten in there. Uh, with the infantry here, I feel like we get a few more of them as well. I think we built 10 last time. Um, I think we can do like, let's do another mountain division. Uh, one more mountain and then infantry. And I think that looks good. I think that will work, guys. Yeah, that'll do. All right, so let's go and deploy these guys. Uh, we're going to deploy both of these as well. 
and that's looking good. All right, so yeah, all these guys will, uh, oh, what happened now? Uh, I signed a white piece, decryption, and Japan declared war on uh, one of those, uh, the border region. Okay, who the fuck is that? Who is that? All right, so what's going on with Yunnan here? Yunnan here? Part of the Chinese United Front, huh? Interesting, I'm not entirely sure what's going on over there. Where's this border region that they declared war on? Huh, yeah, okay, a lot of weird things happen in Asia. Not important, I guess. Uh, it's not even really yeah, important to what's going on in our world over here. Uh, so we are done over here with these. Um, you know, we don't need to get these until 1941, so we're good on all those fronts. Uh, I think what we're gonna do next is what I said, uh, we're gonna do the artillery. Let's get the artillery, 83 days away. Nice bonus for our troops. And got somebody else in the combat turn, awesome. So, I mean, they always join, so. It's not surprising. Still waiting on getting those light cruisers over there. Uh, but yeah, we're training some troops up, which is going to be really helpful. Um, and yeah, the uh, Bulgarians going to war with uh, the Axis right now would actually be very good. Because uh, they're over here fighting Yugoslavia. Um, yeah, are, are the rest of the countries at war yet? Yeah, they are at war with everybody. But I'm not seeing uh, not really too much going over here with the French. A little bit of movement. I thought I saw something. Maybe the French came into this. Soviet Union just declared war on Poland. Okay. So it looks like this was expected. Uh, Soviets are now declaring war on this massive faction over here. Big old large faction um, that is now in conflict with us. Romania, Poland, Lithuania, and Latvia. All right. Um, I don't think the Soviets are going to do the job against them personally. Uh, if they ask us to come into war, then I suppose we'll go. We'll, we'll join. Um, yeah, they will ask us. We'll join because they're not on a border with us, so we don't really have to worry about it. Uh, if we attack Bulgaria, then we'll be able to invade Romania from this way. Come take their capital. Uh, do they have a navy? Can we do anything? I'm not going to send my air force because I need them for other things. They do have 15 ships. Um, I don't really want to send my fleet out here just yet. Let's let's wait. <laughs> let's wait until the Soviets engage them. Maybe destroy a couple of their ships. Then we'll send our own out there. I don't want to lose any ships. Uh, we could put a commander here, though. Admiral. Um, and, yeah, everybody's coming on into the Polish war. All right. Good to know. Uh, but, yeah, we'll, we'll come put our fleet out here once I kind of see a battle happening. Maybe the uh, Soviets do something. Um, destroy a little bit of the fleet over there. All right. Uh, so yeah, we have eight troops currently training. Uh, it's probably going to take them a long time. I don't. I don't know if they'll be able to come and help with this Iranian war. Uh, which yeah, we are outnumbered on the Iranian border. I think so. It's going to be hard advancing on that front. Um, did we get our our uh, war goal against them yet? We get it in the sixth of July. So a day away. All right. So we're going to be able to declare war soon. Uh, we do got outdated equipment that we need to bring in here. This light tank model. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, and then we're also going to research, hmm, not quite 1941, so we're not going to work on light tanks. Three, we're going to go do light self propel artillery. It's only 37 days. Uh, insufficient resources. We're short on steel. We're not going to trade for that because we're working on national focus that's going to give us that. So we'll just wait. We'll wait. I don't want to give an, you know, we, we already don't have enough, uh, you know, enough uh, civilian factories as it is. So we just got our justification here. Did we get, uh, no. Oh, yeah, we do. We have one. One uh, air base here, one level air base. There it is. All right, so what we're going to go ahead and do is let's go ahead and, and send some, some planes over there. Uh, we could do 100 fighters and 100 dive bombers. That's what I'm thinking we're going to do for right now while we build this up uh, because it's just not large enough yet to put any more than that. Um, so let's go ahead and assign them to, I guess, Iran. Yeah, that'll work. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and give them another air wing. Uh, we'll give them some dive bombers. All right, awesome. Uh, and you guys will be assigned to Iran as well. All right, so let me just see here when we're gonna finish this up. Um, all right, so this is gonna be October. We're not gonna get, yeah, we're not gonna get it in time. Uh, we could send some more planes over here. Uh, have like a uh, hundred and hundred. I don't know how far they would reach. If it would even be worth it. Um, but that's an option. Let's see what happens. Let's see if the Iranians join the Axis or not, because then we would wanna put our plane somewhere else. Uh, let's just see what happens when we declare war. I think we're ready, guys. Um, we're a little bit outnumbered over here, uh, like I said, uh, but but yeah, I think I think if uh, God, I really want to send some troops over this way and just come take this capital, huh? I think that might be what we're gonna do, guys. God, it would take them so long to get over there, though. But you know what? We're gonna do it. Um, oh wait a minute, they have. Let me just see here. They, it looks like they have fortifications all along this border. Oh wow, that sucks. I mean, they're not like. I mean, they're they're only one level of land for it, but that's just another negative there. It's going to be hard to push through there. I think we should send a division over here. Let's just see what happens, guys. I'm going to do it. I'm going to send one division, just one, on the railroads, all the way across there, and let's just see um, how long it takes them to get there. Uh, and, and yeah, once they do, um, 
there shouldn't be any troops over there. Yeah, final location's 13 days away. That's really not a long time to wait. And we can just push all the way through to the capital. <laughs> While they over here are distracted with us. Yeah, let's do that. All right, let's go ahead and declare war, guys. Uh, let's, uh, potential enemies. Norway. Oh, Norway's guaranteeing them. Well, that's not good. Huh. Okay. I wonder if Norway will, uh, assist them. They might. All right, well, that's not a big problem. Uh, it just means the Soviets are going to have to fight them. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's a big problem for the Soviets. That would suck. Well, whatever. It's fine. I'm doing it anyway. Norway's not going to stop me. Norway's not stopping shit. Maybe they won't even do it. They probably will, though. Uh, we do want to call our allies into this. All right, so we've declared war on Iran. We're still waiting on our air support, so we're not going to have any of that just yet. Uh, they're they're going to take a little while to deploy. They'll get here on the 12th of July, but uh, let's go ahead and get them. Oh, you know what? Actually, I forgot. Now with this mod... You can't just click when you have the fighters and the close air support. You can't just do air superiority and close air support because the fighters uh, can now provide close air support. And we don't want them doing that. We want them focusing on doing uh, air superiority because remember the Iranians do have a little bit, a little bit of an air force. Um, their air force must be as close to the size of ours, actually. I'm thinking about it. I said a little bit. They have, yeah, they have five to 600 planes. Um, that's right around the same size as our air force. So uh, maybe we'll get some help from the Soviets. All right, so uh, we actually want to take this down the speed. Uh, we're now at war. Poland has called Iran as our enemy in the Soviet-Polish war. Hold up, wait a minute. Did they join? Oh, they did. All right, that works out. They didn't join the Axis. All right, that is actually awesome. So yeah, they joined a faction we're already at war with. Uh, what does suck though is that now we have to get this faction defeated uh, before we're able to uh, get the peace treaty. So that's unfortunate, but you know what? It works out. Um, so they're attacking us um, there, that's okay. Um, I'm actually alright them them doing that. Uh, what we'll do... Hmm. I'm, I'm almost thinking that we're going to let them kind of attack us in our, our fortified positions. If they want to. They can attack. Um, yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. Uh, I do want... Uh, and the Nor Norwegians have gone came into the war, though. So that sucks. We're not at war with uh, Norway, Sweden. We'll be at war with Norway, Sweden, and Finland, and Denmark. Uh, so that's unfortunate. Uh, we're going to go ahead and stop boosting popularity there. Uh, the communists are now 49%. They'll probably win those elections in, in September. Yeah, so communists will become in power in there, but that's not really going to change anything, really. So we'll stop supporting it there. Uh, we don't have to worry about supporting here any longer, either, um, because, yeah, they, we don't have to worry about them joining. Um, yeah, they're actually, the communists are now more powerful than the fascists. Interesting. All right, so, so now that there's that is done, um, I think we can... In fact, if, yeah, if we wanted to, we could start working on increasing fascism somewhere else. Uh, we're already at 17% over here. Wow, that was quick. Huh. That's, yeah, that's interesting how quick that was. Uh, where do we want to work on instead? Um, a lot of people are saying the Greeks. I'm, if I'm being honest, guys, I kind of want to attack the Greeks. Um, I mean, I'd like for them to join the faction, especially with fascism seems to be growing over here. Um, yeah, I would like for them to join the faction, but I kind of want to conquer them. Uh, I want them in my territory. So looking out there, I mean, they have some resources we could really use. Um... I prefer them being in the faction, if possible. We'll, t we'll keep an eye on them. If they start going towards fascism, where I think they're going to join the Axis, then uh, perhaps then we'll we'll work on increasing it. In instead of, of them, though, I think what we should do... Japan's one that would take fucking forever. Um, so I, I don't want to work on them yet. The choices are Afghanistan or, or Portugal. Um, I can see working towards both. Um, Afghanistan... Let's just see which one's... You know, I I'm sure Portugal is a stronger one. Um, yeah, let's do let's do Portugal, guys. I think that'll be fun. Let's go and uh, boost party popularity here. I said justify war goals. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna go and uh, attack Portugal. Uh, so yeah, it looks like that. Yeah, they are they're definitely uh, communists over here, but they're gonna stay in the Allies. Uh, so so yeah, that's just the way that's gonna have to remain. Right, but at least we we are not gonna find ourselves at war with the the Axis. That's what's important. So uh, did we get our planes here? Yeah, it looks like they are still deploying. Um, and yeah, we know that Sweden's gonna be coming to the war. We know Denmark's gonna be coming to the war as well. Um, I believe we can attack right here. All right, so yeah, they're all in the war. Got it. I understand. You don't need to continue to notify me. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna attack here, and we're gonna support with these two. Try and get a little victory, push into their territory. Maybe get up behind them or something. Maybe we can cut them all off right here. That'd be kind of that'd be nice. Um, looks like the Soviets are not on the border. They're not prepared for this conflict, and not at all. Uh, looks like they okay. Well, they're moving troops. As long as they don't continue to move troops that way, I don't want any troops coming over here this way. Um, I still don't have anybody over here. So, yeah, maybe uh, we can take advantage of that. There they go. Now they're moving that way. All right, we need to go ahead and lock these guys down. Can't have them uh, ruining my my invasion over here. Um, and we can go ahead and send these guys in, too. We'll send, we'll send both of these guys in. Here we go. And it looks like that actually might be a victory. 
Um, we'll let these guys stay there. I'm not really interested in attacking them there. We did uh, win there. That's awesome. So let's go ahead and get our troops moving on over here. Um, I wonder if we can win here. Perhaps. Um, what we'll do, we'll send one division in, see how that's looking, and support with this. Just send this division that way. Uh, we did get our new planes. That is awesome. Uh, what I want to go ahead and do, what are these? Fighter Bomber 2. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's right. They have like these fighter bombers um, that are, you know, kind of better at the close air support uh, than the regular bombers. I mean, if you guys wanted to compare, I guess we can do it this way. Uh, so you guys can just look at them. If you're curious about the mod and how it works and all that good, good stuff, you can kind of see where they're at here. Um, looks like, okay, the agility is, is much higher for the fighters. So yeah, they are going to lose some agility. Uh, but you can see their ground attack is substantially higher. They also have a lot longer range too. Interesting. Um, air attack is the same though. Really, they're just losing agility. They got better naval targeting. They lost speed as well. Huh. All right. So that's that's pretty cool. So those seems like a useful full model, I suppose, if you wanted uh, bombers that are better at defending themselves. Uh, so what we're going to go and get next, uh, we could work on the air doctrines. Uh, I still don't think we have enough of air force to justify it, though. I do want the anti-tanks. Um, I want to get those. Uh, but I think we're going to go ahead and get... Um, I think we're going to do the support weapons, too. I think that'd be the most helpful thing for us at the moment. Or we could go ahead and start working to the spawn arms. Yeah, let's do that. That's a large soft attack bonus. I know it's 218 days, guys, but that is going to be incredibly helpful. Where's our troops? Okay, they're right there. It's going to take them a little while to get there. I think the 18th of July is when it said. Um, all right, we did win here, so we're going to take that territory. We're going to try and get get behind all these troops if possible. That's really the goal here. Go ahead and you guys get over here. Uh, we're going to attempt to get behind them, cut them all off from supply so we can get them destroyed. That's the goal. Yugoslavia has already cap capitulated. Fall of Belgrade. Yeah, that has forced them to capitulate. Wow. That was quick. That was really, really quick. Uh, the Italians are invading into France. Um, they've already taken some territory here. Uh, the French always have trouble with that. Uh, same, the border over here on the uh, Maginot Line is, is, is holding up, though. Uh, we do have some outdated equipment that we need to upgrade. That's our fighters. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, so, yeah. Uh, looks like um, maybe an engagement over here. Uh, let's go and throw our, our ships out there and see what happens. Let's go and say, uh, do a search and destroy of the Black Sea, please. Uh, we want to make sure they're engaging, and we want them to repair high priority. Okay, just make sure everything's good, because it seems like the uh, game likes to change some of that stuff now. Uh, make sure our troops are currently training all right. Everything's looking good over there. All right, let's go ahead and continue. Uh, we are going to, I guess we're going to defend right here. Uh, but yeah, I want to get behind these guys, if at all possible. I think we should be able to do it. Um, we're going to send these guys over here. So they can continue to thin there. Looks like we have more troops coming over this way. Um, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna advance there unless there's nobody there, because um, I'd prefer to just leave them there for troops to be cut off and whatnot. Uh, looks like Japan did defeat somebody there. There's a white piece or something like that. Uh, why don't you guys come on over here this way? Uh, you two as, as well. Let's go ahead and start uh, trying to cut off these troops. See if we can get behind them. And our guys are over there. Awesome. What we're gonna do is give them a little front here, just a little one, uh, so that they stay there. And then I think we're gonna go ahead and start attacking. Let's go take the capital, guys. <laughs> just get behind them. I could I could have sent more troops over there, but yeah, we're gonna attempt to just cut them off right here. If uh, if we can do it, see if we can make it happen. Make it happen, Captain. So uh, these guys aren't gonna get there for eight days, so I don't think we have to worry about them. Nope, we'll be good to go. Yeah, we'll, we'll beat them there. Uh, we're gonna send these guys this way instead. I don't know where they're going, but I don't want you to go there. Um, yeah, everything else is looking good. Yeah, the Ir Iranians look like they're going to be a little bit easier than I was expecting. Uh, I was kind of expecting a little bit more of a challenge, uh, if I'm being honest. Um, what we could do is attack here, make sure those guys don't move any further. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, get to attacking across this river here. Uh, try and get them cut off. We're like a couple provinces away. All right, and then these guys... Ooh, wow, that's a long, long walk. Uh, it's going to be 14 days before they get over here. Uh, and it looks like we did engage in a battle here. Hopefully we didn't lose any ships. Oh, nice. We uh, destroyed 14... Romanian destroyers. Uh, looks like a, a large part of that was us having some some bombers uh, help from the the Soviets. All right, so we did take a little bit of damage, so they should be repairing. Yep, they're repairing at the moment. All right, so go back home and repair, please. Well, yeah, we got some uh, naval experience. 89 naval experience from that. Plus our ships have some uh, very good experience now. Yeah, that was worth it. Very good investment there with that that battle. All right, um, so. Just trying to get all of our troops down here. Uh, what we'll do with these guys is let's just come on towards this way. Try and see if we can get behind these guys here. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. We're just taking territory. We're taking territory, guys. Don't worry about it. Uh, so these guys want to beat us there. And it looks like they're gonna. Oh, no. No, we'll get there first. Okay. That's fine. All right. We're actually gonna lose there, though. So let's go and attack. Make sure that we don't lose. Uh, we're bringing more troops anyway. 
yeah, they're going to come up over here and, and help us out, make sure we don't lose that territory. Uh, we are losing this battle now, though, unfortunately. Uh, but we're getting more troops over here, so it can wait. It can wait. Looks like that kind of woke up the, the Russians over here. Uh, now they're starting to take some territory. Now, we might end up getting cut off here. Uh, we got a division here. But you know what? If we take the capital, it might be worth it. Um, and besides, we're like almost there. Anyways, uh, it's fine. Not worried about it, guys. Not worried about it. Go ahead and get them over, over here and help defend there. Um, yeah, looking pretty good here. Uh, we do have our planes over here assisting. Um, I'm almost wanting to tell them to stop. Yeah, you know what? Let's uh, let's tell them to stop building this. We don't need that anymore. Let's go and work on that factory now. Uh, and then instead, let's bring these guys on over here. They have better coverage of the entire area. But uh, help us out. Uh, and so, yeah, they do still have troops all through these areas. There's nobody there, so I think we're going to take that and just snatch it up, I suppose. Grab it up. Oh, no, you can't go that way. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop, stop, stop. I thought we'd build a... Oh, okay, I see, I see. Never mind. There's a little lake there I didn't notice. Got it. So, yeah, I can't do that. Let's go and get these guys cut off. Excellent. So, yeah, all these troops will be cut off. Uh, we'll be able to get them wiped out fairly easily. Looks like we failed in our attempt to rush the capital, um, for now anyways. Uh, maybe when we get a little bit more Soviet assistance, we'll be able to do it. Uh, we're coming down this way, though, so, yeah, I think it'll end up working out fine. Let's go and take that territory there. Not really going to be able to move anybody here. Why don't you go this way instead, my friend? All right, so, yeah, looking good. Um, oh, damn, they locked us down. Damn, that sucks. All right, well, hopefully we'll get it get it done soon because, yeah, that's a problem because, yeah, they can cut us off. I mean, it's not a big deal because we can get it, get over there, but how long until these troops get there? Matter of hours. All right, excellent. Um, so yeah, we are now here. Uh, we're defending there, all right. They are cut off from supply. Uh, so now we're going to want to work on getting these guys destroyed, getting them dismantled. Um, how's the best way to do that? I think we should go ahead and attack here. Maybe. No, that's going to be a loss. We just don't have the troop numbers. What happened over here? Let's just take a look here. We sunk one of their submarines. All right, awesome. Uh, so yeah, just getting the uh, Romanian fleet destroyed. Where are they at right now? Zero ships? They don't have a single ship. All right, um... There's really no reason to continue here. I'm not really worried about convoys at the moment. Uh, let's just uh, let's just tell them to, to go home. You guys are done. You're done here. Go ahead and just go home, repair. Yeah, we're finished up. Uh, how are we doing our resources? Is it just the steel that we're lacking? Yes, sir, just that steel. Uh, so it looks like uh, the capital's back open to us, although it looks like there's some troops moving here, so we'll have to see what happens there. Um, not really able to do anything else over here just yet. We're gonna have to wait. Uh, we can move these guys over here, though. Double widen our front. Make sure they can't break through. That'd be a good thing. We don't want them breaking through here. All right, so what we're going to do, instead of you guys going this way, we need to start reducing this front a bit. It's a very wide front. Let's see if we can win there now. Uh, it's looking yellow. Um, so, yeah, not good. I don't think these guys can attack here. Maybe they can. Uh, yeah, it looks like they can. All right, well, let's go ahead and help out there, then. Uh, can we? It looks like they are moving there, so we'll go take that territory. We need to get our steelworks. That's awesome. Could prospect for oil, but remember that doesn't give us oil. That just gives us infrastructure. We have to go down here to actually get oil. Uh, it seems like we have to get a company or something like that. Got a call. I declined. Ha ha ha. I don't know who the hell it was. Um, <laughs> it wasn't my wife. That's all that matters, right? Uh, so we do want to get that light bomber focused so we can get the next line of planes. And I think that's what we're going to work on. Man, we haven't even touched the infantry shit, the land doctrines and stuff. Yeah, I would go for that, but I don't want it for four oil. No, no, thank you. That's just not worth it at the moment. That's 140 days to get four oil. Let's go with the light bomber focus. Um, yeah, we're going to grab that up. Uh, so we're still quite a few factories away from being able to get those 50 factories that we need in order to get that one national focus, unfortunately. Uh, we're losing here now, though, although it looks like they retreated. All right, awesome. Looking good, guys. Uh, can we? We're taking that territory there. Uh, we could take this, but we'd give up our little location here. Looks like they're leaving there, so that's not a problem. It's going to take them a while to go, though, so we'll just wait. What we'll do, um, we're going to go ahead. I kind of want to just attack down here, uh, just to distract these troops. And, and Yeah, let's, let's attack down here with these mountain troops. I think we'll be able to win. We're going to support with these guys. Go ahead and support that attack, please. Um, and then we're going to bring these guys over this way, so we have a little more flexibility on this side of things. All right, and then you guys here, uh, you know what? You can attack this way. Yeah, go ahead and attack. Attack right there. Uh, and support. Awesome. So we're just pushing them back, um, you know, widening this front so that we'll be able to get these guys here on this front wiped out. We got our light self-propelled artillery, too. Was that two? Yeah, that's two. Uh, so we're going to want to build those. We don't actually have a line for those yet. So we're going to want to get that building. We're not going to work on medium tanks at the moment. It's just not a priority, guys. Not a priority. Um, I think what we're going to do, I really want to get those mountain troops improved. So I'm tempted to do that. Yeah, I think we're going to do the mountain troops. We have a lot of mountain troops. Or getting that would probably be, more, more, be even more beneficial. 
Uh, yeah, let's just continue working on all our infantry stuff, guys. I think that's the smart thing to do right now. Um, you know, that's largely what we're, you know, using. So let's go and do that. We're gonna, we're gonna get the support weapons, increase their abilities. I would, really wish the Soviets would kind of help out over here. That'd be helpful. They haven't been doing shit, though. We did lose here, so that kind of sucks. I think we'll attack again. Attack, man. Uh, we'll go ahead and support that attack as well over here. Maybe we'll actually get a win this time. They are taking attrition all across here because they are cut off from supply. It is taking forever for those guys to get there. When are they gonna get there? Can we beat them? Let me just see here. Um, yeah, sure, we'll do that. Uh, and we'll attack down here. I mean, we might actually be able to get them destroyed. I don't know. Just attack. Do something. Uh, get it. Make it work. Make it happen. All right. So, yeah, we're, we're going to get these guys cut down into, like, a little small area. We weren't able to get to the capital yet. Um, I wonder if we can, we can beat them here. Yes, we can. Awesome. Or maybe. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, so, we're, we can go ahead and try and connect this area here, though. We'll have these troops come on down here. Um, and then uh, we can also have these guys attack up this way. Uh, I think that's what we're going to do. Attack, man. All right. So, they're going to attack out that way. Currently defending here. Um, looks like, yeah, the fronts are kind of kind of messed up a little bit right now, but you know what? It's okay. I'm not too worried about it. Uh, let's go ahead and have you guys support this attack so we can get that finished up. We're just going to break them down to smaller units here. Um, and then you guys can uh, attack there, I guess. Yeah, why don't you attack right there? Let's see what happens. Uh, currently defending here with those that division there. Uh, but yeah, things are looking good. I think the Iranians are going to be defeated uh, very soon. Just looking at them right now, 23% uh, towards capitulation. They've already lost 40,000 while we've only lost 5,000. Uh, Soviet Union's almost lost a million men. I'm guessing most of that's on this front here. Uh, how are things going on this front? It looks like Bessarabia, uh, has, they've taken some, some units uh, or some uh, provinces here in the state. Awesome. So Soviets are advancing there. Uh, as far as the Polish border, yeah, nothing happening. Same thing over here in, uh, uh, what's that, Lithuania, Latvia, excuse me. So, yeah, not, not great. Uh, <laughs> they're not doing good over there. Uh, we did lose here, didn't take the capital, that's unfortunate. Uh, anywhere else that we can, not really. Uh, really all that matters is that we take the capital, that's, that's the important part. We got all these guys destroyed here, so this is gonna be, uh, Trotsky survives the assassination attempt. Interesting. Yeah, he's over there in Mexico, and, uh, looks like they didn't get him with the ice picked. All right, <laughs> I'm sure he's very pleased about that. Um, but yeah, we're gonna get these guys wiped out here. Um, we're gonna attack down this way and uh, get this finished off. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, it's gonna be done momentarily. Uh, so we've already. Uh, huh. I wonder if we can attempt to attack here again. We're gonna. We're, well, let's let our organization get up. Yunnan Free Empire has capitulated. All right, Japan over there winning some more. Stay on this front, please. Um, and yeah, this is gonna be wrapped up momentarily. Uh, this is just about done here. Let's let's go and get this finished. Everybody just attack. I want it done with. It's like eight divisions. That's pretty big deal, guys. Uh, really gonna hurt the... Yeah, why don't you guys come on over to this front. Really gonna hope, uh, hurt the Iranians. Um, are you guys coming to this front too? Yes, you are. All right, awesome. You can stay going where you're going because you're almost there anyways. Uh, so we want to take the capital here. Uh, we don't have the troop numbers just yet. A lot of our guys that are currently over here, the organization is a bit low. We did finish training some troops. Uh, Siamese Empire has capitulated. Weren't they part of the Axis? Let's come over here. Oh, all right. So the Canadians have defeated them. All right, that's that's awesome. I'm pleased with that. Um, let's just see. It looks like the French are losing, though. They lost. They lost the Maginot Line. They're losing to the Italians down here. All right. It looks like it's going to be a wrap for France. All right, well, hopefully they hold out as long as possible there. Uh, what we are going to concern ourselves with is this Iranian war there. Uh, that's that's what we're going to worry about. That's right, we do have some troops that are finished training, though. So let's go and get these guys going somewhere. I don't think we need them in Iran. I think we're done there. Uh, let's bring them on over to this border. We don't have a, lo a lot of troops over there. So let's go ahead and get those guys going over there, just in case war breaks out with the... Uh... Oh, wow, yeah, look at this. Germans. Told you they'd come over that border. Uh, did I just mess with somebody? No, I didn't mess with something. All right, uh, so yeah, we just need to keep paying attention to those guys, make sure that we don't train unnecessarily. Uh, I guess we can attack here so we don't get more troops into the capital. Because, uh, yeah, we're going to attempt to... When are these guys leaving? Uh, that's a long time. All right, we'll attack with these guys. Um, attempt to get a win here. Attack, man. All right, that's not going to be enough. All right, well, what about... When do these guys leave? They're leaving. That's yeah, going to be a while. Damn it. All right, why don't you guys come on over here instead? That's why we need you. I need you there. Um, and then you guys are going to come on over to this one. Come on, guys. Um, and then, I don't know where you guys are going, but come on over to this front. And I don't think we shouldn't have... Okay, it looks like we have five divisions going to that front. Ah, this is fucked up. All right, that sucks. I want you guys to come on down here. These two, they're fine going there. It, it's all right. They're already almost there. So might as well let them go. Um, yeah, it'll work. 
It'll do. Um, so yeah, we, we did lose in these areas. Looks like we're not gonna win. We need more troops. Let's just go and pull them back. Uh, we're just not gonna win here. Uh, we did get our improved artillery upgrade. Let's just pull this back here. Um, yeah, that sucks. We did lose, lose there. Um, very unfortunate. I want to get the anti-tanks. I really do, guys. Um, so I am tempted to uh, get that next because I feel like fighting the Axis, we're just not going to have uh, the heart attack uh, to, to win there. So I think we should get it. However, I think we're going to do mountain infantry first. <laughs> yeah, let's get that first. Then we'll get it. It'll be fine, guys. It's fine. Um, so how are we doing on getting our troop trained? We do have another guy done, a mountain division. Uh, let's put him onto this border here. I'm probably gonna put a lot of them onto that red front because the red front is frankly a little bit too weak, uh, for fighting, uh, against the, uh, you know, the German troops there. Uh, we might be able to take that province there. I was kind of hoping to get them cut off when we took the capital. Let's just see what happens over here. They do have a lot of troops in the capital. Uh, we're just gonna have to wait till we get more divisions over here. Uh, it looks like a lot of them are coming this way. That's actually not where I want you. I don't really, we're not even going to attempt to advance that way. I don't care about that, that front at all. I want you guys to come over this way. This is where I want you. All over here. Uh, I almost want to create a separate front so they'll stop moving them. Because I don't want you to move. Um, when do they leave? Just stay. Just stay, baby. Stay. All right. So we are entering into September. And by the way, guys, that is actually the end of the episode. All right. That sucks. Damn. Oh, I was having fun. Uh, the Romanians are getting defeated. That's really, really good to see. They didn't even need our assistance. Um, that was a little bit of a bummer because I would like to have some of their oil here. I would like to be able to take the capital myself. You know, if we had invaded from Bulgaria after we defeated them. Uh, but yeah, that's obviously not going to happen. I mean, it's really, really good that the, uh, the Soviets are winning here because we need to get the Soviets they need to be able to fight on all these other fronts that we have. We got a ton of fronts they need to fight on. Uh, so, so yeah, getting Iran, Iran defeated is going to help. They're able to pump those troops up north. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, getting Romania defeated, they can now focus on Poland. It also gives them you know, a little bit of stretch the border out a little bit, maybe be able to come up from this direction. Uh, so, so yeah, the, the French are losing. <laughs> so that's, that's a thing. Um, but that's, and it looks like the Italians over here have lost a little bit of territory as well, uh, but they've gained territory in Egypt. Wow. All right. So, yeah. Uh, what about, what's how's the thing going in Ethiopia? All right. Not really. Not really much happening here. Everything's the same. All right, so yeah, the the Italians are advancing into Egypt. Well, good job, Italy. Um, all right, well, uh, we're gonna go ahead and end the episode here. Make sure nobody, there are actually some troops that are done training. Let's go ahead and put them onto that red border there. Although we could use more troops over here on this purple border too. I think we will put a division over there. Uh, let's put one division onto this one. Come on over there, my friend. Uh, and then, yeah, let's, let's go ahead and get these other two going to the red border because the red border is weak. Come on over here. Uh, only 11 divisions. That's not enough to hold this area. I almost feel like we should build some fortifications here. Or at least maybe a backup fortification center, like right along here, so we don't have to fortify as many provinces. I don't know. Uh, I think we should do something, because, yeah, there's, uh, there's a lot of Germans over here. And they have tanks, medium tanks. All right, so uh, we're going to go ahead and end the episode here, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like. Consider subscribing to the channel. And thanks for watching, guys.